Hey, in the last video, if you remember, we saw how to define the geometry for the reinforcement, the different material properties, as well as the cross-section definition for embedded reinforcement. Now it's time for meshing the geometry and then send the, send the model to run uh, to the computational core and get the results and have some visual interpretation. Before we can proceed with the meshing of our beam, we need to assign the different material properties and the different geometries created. First, we're going to start with concrete. We need to target the shapes that we want to assign the different properties. So the first we target the left and right span of concrete and then we choose the class element. So in that case, the element class is class 2 and in two dimensional concrete and the concrete cross section geometry. If you remember, we don't have any specific data, so we can just click OK. Now, clicking at this button, we can assign the reinforcement properties. We select material and then we can start for the 8. 20 that will be this section this section and that one we click ok we have everything well assigned and then the 220 this section this section and this one so three sections, we click OK. We have already all the material properties and the geometries and assigned to our elements. So we are ready to proceed with the machine. You can see you have two shapes for the concrete cross section or for the concrete beam and then six shapes for our reinforcements. We mesh, we have now the mesh here and we can see the different elements if we click at the mesh tab in the main panel and then we click in the mesh section we can see the different element sets created during the meshing process we have 16 elements for each span as we define it define eight for each half span so in total 16 and then we have different number of reinforcement that corresponds to the different reinforcement uh, on, the, on, the, on the geometries. So now we have our model ready and then we can just send the analysis. We can utilize the same that we defined before because we didn't change anything for the analysis. And then we can recalculate. you check here for example the, in the message um, panel you can see here it says adding and storing reinforcement stiffness, stiffness. that means that uh, here is modifying the different elements with the uh, contribution of the embedded reinforcement then by clicking at the results tab in the main window we can access to the results that the computational engine gave us after running the analysis. As a main difference with respect to the last analysis, the plain concrete beam, now we have another section of results. So we have in total three nodal results, element results, and then the new one that is the reinforcement results. So we can see the results in the, uh, at the reinforcement uh, level. As we did before, we can check the different nodal results like displacements. We have some displacements in, uh, in X, but uh, displacements that uh, doesn't produce any stresses because we release the both the supports at the end of the beam. We have the displacements in Y for the different loads. We have the reactions and here we see that we don't have reaction at the support because it was released. 
all that makes sense with the results that we have seen. And then we can go to the element results, strains in an X as it expected, to the, the normal um, deformations to the cross section, and the corresponding stresses that are uh, linear elastic, so are exactly related by the modulus uh, of elasticity. Finally, we can check the reinforcement results. In uh, strains, you can see as the top is compressed and the bottom is uh, tensile, and the same, but uh, well, the other way around for the mid uh, support cross section and the corresponding stresses that, as I said, are linear elastic, so are directly correlated with the modulus of elasticity of the material. Until here with this video, then we have seen how to mesh our geometry assigning the new material properties to the steel reinforcement bars as well as the concrete uh, beam. Then we send the input parameters to the computational engine and this one has sent us back the different results to get the different visual uh, or the different graphical interpretation over our geometry. As a difference with the plain concrete results, we got a new section in the results that was named Reinforcement Results, which allowed to see the different stresses and strains on our reinforcement. The next videos we are going to proceed with the nonlinear analysis. Then we are going to use the same model that we developed until here, the reinforced concrete beam with the reinforcement implemented, but we are going to use the nonlinear uh, material definition as well as the nonlinear analysis for the computational core. Then we are going to check the different results and compare with our linear elastic analysis. Thank you, see you soon.